Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to talk about the Empress Roar Styx Hunting Horn and share some of my builds with you. This is one of my favourite hunting horns. Like all Styx weapons, it comes with the skill Razor Sharp as well as being incredibly easy to build for due to slots, positive affinity and natural white sharpness. The song list is useful for most situations but particularly good for Kushala and other monsters which have wind based attacks like Behemoth and Lunastra. The songs we have are Self Improvement for increased movement speed, Encore for a Mind's Eye effect and 15% extra base attack. Defense Up Large can be encored to increase defense gains from 15 to 20% for all party members. Attack Up and Defense Up Small can be encored to increase the stat gains from 10% to 15%. However, I should point out that if you're already benefiting from Defense XL from the previous song, then you will only gain the attack buff. This is because the game will prioritise your highest level buff. As you can see on screen now, there are two sets of attack and defence songs. Some of you might be wondering if using both will allow you to stack the buffs. The answer is no, they are simply note variations of the same song and help to chain different songs together easier. All wind pressure negated, this stops your character doing that flailing around motion when you encounter wind pressure from flying monsters. Most noticeable from Kashala Dora, who gains a wind aura, making it difficult for melee players to attack. This horn buff will ignore that aura. All wind pressure negated also allows you to walk through the sides of tornadoes without taking damage or being knocked back. It can make it easier to avoid that infinite falling over loop until death. Be aware that you can still take damage and knock back from the centre of the tornado. This helps the team to manoeuvre more easily against Kashala and the Behemoth. Lunastra Supernova is also a wind based pressure knockback effect so the team will be able to take healing items freely or run out of range of the attack. Stamina use reduced large is like a dash juice but more potent. It feels more like 50% which is the cap. Amazing for players who use stamina in their weapon attacks but it also helps everyone with sprinting and dodging. It's like giving your team Marathon Runner, Constitution and Stamina Surge. And that's a lot of jewels saved. I've got several builds to show you guys using this horn. First are my two DPS builds utilising Master's Touch for the convenience of not having to sharpen my weapon. The Behemoth and the Kazer set have different elemental strengths and weaknesses so it can be useful changing depending on what monster you're fighting. Canteen elemental buffs can help you reach plus 20 resist which will negate that element's blight. Attack jewels can be swapped for health boost if you prefer some extra survival. This is an earplug variation. This loses a little bit of damage but allows for more opportunities to attack during roars. It's a nice quality of life for hunting horn as you won't get interrupted during your encores. I know it's not a skill everyone is fond of and nor is it needed for every monster but it is a nice convenient skill, especially when you have two monsters in the same room which like to constantly roar at each other. Lastly, I have some wide range builds which are mostly useful against hard content such as Extreme Behemoth, AT Kishala, where players can be taken down in a couple of hits. I like to pair wide range with speed eating so I don't spend my whole hunt chugging potions and I can get back into DPS. One person filling up everyone's HP power so everyone else can continue attacking can increase the party's DPS output and avoid carts. However, some players can become overly reliant on heals so be prepared to bring extra potion materials to reduce trips back to camp. Hunting Horn does deal good damage and you can often just use life powders to support heal the team, but sometimes that just isn't enough and the extra healing power from wide range can make all the difference between a win and a fail. Random SOS runs where you encounter players of varying skill levels, some of which don't even consume buffs. Forcing these buffs on people increases their DPS and survival to help you get the fight completed. Sometimes despite your best efforts, people die anyway. Negative fire resist and no health boost on AT Lunestra is rough. Hope you found the video useful, I have a few other hunting horn builds along with many others on YouTube. Feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.